Stimulus check arguments sparked Indiana quadruple murder, family says an argument over a stimulus check led a 25-year-old man to shoot the mother of his child and kill four of her relatives at an Indianapolis home, according to reports a day before Malik Halfacre allegedly shot Janetrius Moore on Saturday and gunned down her family, killing her young daughter, brother, mother and a cousin. The father of one of Moore's children wanted half of her $1,400 stimulus check, relatives told WXIN who wanted some of Genetrius's tax money, stimulus money, cousin Wendy Johnson told the station. She said, no, you don't deserve any of this I work. I take care of our child. You don't do anything more offered half acre $450, telling him take it or leave it, Johnson R-E-C-A-L-L-E-D he said, I'm gonna get that money, Johnson said. This was the day before Halfacer later returned to the home and started going through Moore's purse looking for the money when Daquan Moore tried to intervene to help his sister, prompting Halfacre to just start killing everybody. Johnson said relatives identified the victims as Moore's seven-year-old daughter, Eve, her 23-year-old brother, Daquan Moore, her 44-year-old mother, Tamika Brown, and her 35-year-old cousin, Anthony Johnson. He shot Daquan first, Wendy Johnson said. He shot Anthony. He turned around and he shot my auntie Tamika. My aunt Tamika said, Malik, and he shot her again investigators said Halfacre also fled the home with his six-month-old daughter, Malia Halfacre, triggering an amber alert. The girl was found unharmed early Sunday, wish rapper Ted Meanwhile, Janetrius Moore, who worked at a beauty salon to support her two girls, was shot in the back. She flatly told a neighbor that Halfacre shot her and killed her family over her stimulus money, according to WISH I said, why did he shoot you? Neighbor Craig Jackson said. And her exact words were stimulus money, her exact words were, I am the only one who got away. He killed the rest of them. Those were her exact words more, who was initially listed in critical condition, was released from a hospital Monday, relatives told the station officer remained held without bail Tuesday on preliminary charges of murder, robbery and attempted murder, online records show.